Hi, this is Kevin with KKOA. Today we are going to change out the heating element in our hot water heater uh, for our RV. The Dometic hot water heater, the one thing about it is you, it's both does both gas and electric. Uh, you don't have, all you have is a plastic plug, so you don't have an anode, anode rod that goes here instead it's just a plastic drain plug. So there's really two different kind of ways to do it. So the heating element for this is actually sits on the back side, around the back side of it underneath. So in order to change it, we're gonna to have to go either one of two things. We can either take out the whole hot water heater tank by cutting all the seal and pulling the whole thing out, or we're gonna to try to go on the other side if we can get access and uh, change out the heating element. The problem with this was it, the heating element was actually left on power without any water that was in the tank uh, when we got it. I've already ohmed it out and determined that it is a bad heating element. In order to gain access to my hot water heater tank, there's an access panel that I need to remove these screws in order to gain access to it. All right, as you can see, it's kind of tight in the panel. There's the, the cold water line that comes in. And it looks like that's where behind that box is where the heating element is. It's actually down below. It may be easier to take out the, just remove the lines and slide the tank out. I think that's what they recommend to do is to take the tank out and do that. Well, it looks like it's a little tight in there. So I think probably the easiest thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all these and probably pull the whole thing out. If I pull it out, I should be able to gain access to the heating element on the back side. What do you think? So I think that's what we're going to do. So in order to do so, we need to go ahead and start draining the hot water heater tank. Pour it out. Ew. Before removing the gas line, you want to make sure that your gas is all shut off. Go ahead and bleed off all the gas. So I'm just going to trim some of the caulk. Turn the line here. As we do that, we need to go ahead and disconnect the gas line. Like I said, make sure the gas is turned off, which we already did. Now I'm just going to tape this gas line off just to mainly to protect and keep any debris as we pull it through so no debris gets in that line. You can get a cap if I don't have a cap, but I would say you can either tape it and put a cap on, but I would go ahead and try to tape it off so that way the line doesn't get clogged. Just going to remove all the screws. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove the line from here and here. So we'll shut this off and go ahead and uh, work on removing the lines. Alright, now I need to continue going down through here and cut all that seal just to make sure so I can pry it out. Now that I've got the water lines loose on the on the back side. You have to continue to pry and cut until the sealant breaks free all the way down. There's actually still about a gallon of water that's in here because of where that is compared to where the other. So if you try to do it while it's on the inside and if you have space just keep in mind there's about a gallon of water that's still in there even below this drain. Alright, as you pull it out, be careful of this the gas line that goes through here. You can just push it through that rubber grommet. Should just slide right in. Kind of wiggle it out, and it's gonna sit right down on here. And the part we need to get to is right in here. Take this cover off. All right, 
there's your heating element that's sitting right in here so that's the dude we need to uh, we need to get to and take out and as you can see the heating element does sit down a lot lower than the actual drain plug it looks like there's a nut on either side looks like maybe a 7 16 or quarter inch nut on either side and we need to go ahead and take out and then take this cover off and then that'll gain access to our heating element take off the 3 16 it's a 3 16 nut there's one on either side just remember on this this one right here it looks like the black wire which is your hot wire it's on the bottom and then you got your neutral wire which is on top so it should just go in in reverse order so we'll go ahead and take those off you're going to need an inch and a half socket inch and a half socket to take that off right here as you can see there was still this fits down lower there was still about a gallon of water that was up in there there was a bunch of sediment a bunch of stuff that came out all over the ground so nathan just so happened to be underneath kind of got him all wet but just uh, keep that in mind that if you try to do it inside all that uh fluid and all that stuff's going to come out so pulling it out and actually doing it out here on the table is definitely much easier and uh, probably recommended by the factory all right since i have this out i'm just going to go ahead and clean this out since i already have it disassembled because i don't know if i'm going to get an opportunity to do it again wow that's dirty all right the new heating element of course it says do not apply voltage to the heating outlet or it'll burn up in one minute or less unless you have water that's in there this is why it's so important to not have any power unless there's water in the tank and i believe that's what happened whenever this thing burned up now we're gonna go ahead and insert the new one in make sure not to cross thread the threads all right go ahead and attach the wires back on Black goes on the left. We're gonna put it on in the same reverse order. So before we put this in, now this is all assembled, before we put it in, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna scrape all this old uh, caulk and everything off of there to get a good nice seal. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a clear bead of some silicone. Kind of go around this. And start pulling the wire. Pull the black wire. Pull the black wire. You're on the cock. Pull the black wire. Go ahead and put all your screws back in. Now connect up your gas line. All right, now that you've got all your connections on the outside, go ahead and connect up your water lines and everything on the inside. All right, now that we got the pump on, we go ahead and check for leaks and it doesn't appear that there's any leaks. All right, go ahead and connect up the power and filled up the hot water tank all right now that we have the hot water uh, plugged up and turned on the best way to test it is to go to look and see as you can see i've got seven about 7.5 amps that i have going across the hot water heater this is also the best way to test to see if your heating element is bad. So now that we've changed ours, I now see that I have amps going across. So we should be heating up our hot water on the electric. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video of how to replace your heating element in your Dometic RV hot water heater. If you continue to like these videos, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and please don't forget to hit that little like button down below. 
And once again, hope you enjoyed this video from Kevin and Kim Outdoor Adventure, KKOA. All right, bye. All right, so now we need to test to see if the water gets hot. Yay! We have hot water.